Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had created a manual scale set with two instances which have a node application running in them. So what we'll do in this particular chapter is we'll check whether the health checks for these particular machines are working. So currently these two machines are connected using just the private IP addresses. So you cannot directly log in into them. So what we need to do is we need to create another virtual machine with a public IP address. And we need to make sure that this particular virtual machine is connected to the same network as these instances so once we've connected to this virtual machine we will ssh into one of this these machines and once we've done that we will just shut down our application and what should happen is that the health check should kick in so the health check should make one of these instances that we've turned uh, that we've disabled to unhealthy and after a certain while because the health checks have been turned on that particular instance should become healthy again so let's see how we can make sure that our health checks are working so i'll see you in the console Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had created a scale set and within that scale set, we have two instances. So in this particular chapter, what we'll do is we'll make one of these instances as unhealthy. And once it becomes unhealthy, this particular scale set will spawn a new virtual machine and it will just discard the old one, which is unhealthy. Now to do that, you need to go to your health and repair. And underneath your automatic repair policy, you just need to enable this. And once that is done, you can also specify a grace period. Now this grace period can be anything between 10 minutes and 90 minutes. So let's just make it as a default 10 minutes. And what I'll do now is I will just save this. Okay, once this is saved, what we'll do is we'll go to our instances. And what we need to do is we need to log into one of these instances and we need to shut the service that runs the web server. So what I'll do is I will create a virtual machine and within the same network. And then after I've done that, I will connect to this via the private network. So let's go to a virtual machine. So here I've already created a virtual machine within the same network. And what I need to do is I will just log into this virtual machine. So I'll just copy this. I'll log in using putty, open. Okay, once I've done that, let's go back to a virtual skill set. Instances. So what I'll do is I'll log into this particular instance. So I'll just copy this private IP address. And I'll SSH into that particular machine. Okay, once I've done that, all that I need to do is I need to run the forever stop command. So I'm using forever to run my web server on the background. So what I will do is I will just run the forever stop command to stop that particular background job. And I will run the And this particular process has been stopped. So once this process has been stopped, what we'll do is we'll go back to our scale set and this particular health state should turn into unhealthy. And you can see that it has become unhealthy. So now what should happen is because I have changed the health and repair to auto enable, what will happen is this particular instance will be discarded and a new one will be created. But this takes a few minutes to happen. So let's just wait for this to create a new instance. So I'll see you there. Okay, you can see that the vscale set underscore two has been discarded and a new one has been created. And that particular new one also has a health state as healthy. So this is how you can use your automatic repair policy to regenerate virtual machines that have become unhealthy. So I, and if you have any issues, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I'll gladly help you. So I'll see you in the next chapter.